Mufasa is definitely alive and roaring today, in case those of you can't tell. <laughs> Do you see my little cute pumpkin earrings? The little jack-o'-lanterns. Look, this is me getting festive. Hey you guys, it's Christina and I am so happy to be here with you today for another delicious video. Today, we're gonna be making healthy Halloween treats and not just any Halloween treats, raw vegan desserts. Halloween is a very spirited time of the year where people dress up into costumes and pretend to be a different character for one day out of the year. It's also a time where people tend to eat a lot of candy and processed sugar. For the past few years, I've been handing out apples, and as of recent, I've decided to get a little bit more creative and also to try and give all of you some ideas of healthy things that you can prepare and share with the people that you love. Halloween doesn't have to be a dreadfully unhealthy event. It can be fun, colorful, spooky, wooky, and delicious all at the same time and healthy, and all of that. It's gonna be great. All the recipes that I'm gonna be sharing with you today are in my Fully Raw Vegan app. You can click on the link in the description below to download the app and check out these recipes, or you can head on over to the iTunes store and type in Fully Raw, and you should see my app available for download right there for you. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and join the family because there is only more epicness to come. I have a ton more healthy holiday treats coming your way, including a pumpkin spinach dip and even some witch hat cupcakes. I'm just getting started with my Halloween festivities, you guys, and then after that, I'm gonna be preparing a full Thanksgiving menu for all of you. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel, download my app and get ready because the holiday season is coming and I am going to get you prepared with a ton of recipes to share. All that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into this video and make some spooky wooky treats, shall we? A little bit of hocus pocus, let's go. The first treat that we're going to be making today are these absolutely adorable chocolate truffle spider bites. How cute and festive do these look? You'll need a food processor to make this recipe and you'll add in mulberries, pitted dates, some cacao powder, one scoop of Chocolate Sun Warrior, plus a little bit of activated charcoal, almonds are optional if you desire them, some cinnamon, and coconut nectar. You'll process this until it takes on the cookie crumble consistency that you desire, and keep in mind this will be a little bit sticky. You're gonna take this mixture and you're going to roll parts of it into balls, just as I am doing here. And from here, I'm gonna take a bowl of sweet cacao nibs and I'm going to press the balls into the cacao nibs to give them a rough outer texture. For the spider legs, I have cut these fuzzy wires into little pieces and I've bent them at the knees so that they can act as spider legs. I'll insert eight of them into each ball, just as shown here, and I even have some eyes to put on top for the spider eyes. You'll need to keep on adding in eyes and legs until you have completed each and every spider that is on your plate. How adorable do these look? They're spooky wooky, they're cute, and they're even creepy crawly. The next treat that we're gonna be making is the Starry Eye Charcoal Smoothie. And this treat is alchemy in a jar. We're gonna be making the smoothie in two parts, so you'll first need to add into your blender some ripe speckled bananas along with some activated charcoal so that it looks just like this. Ooh. And then you will blend this up until it becomes dark and very creamy and smooth, just like this. This is the starry eye part of our smoothie, and I filled it up a little bit too much right there. For the next part of our smoothie, you'll need to peel about two to three more speckled and ripe bananas, add them into your blender, along with about one tablespoon of spirulina and a little bit of Sun Warrior Super Greens. Blend this up until it becomes super green and smooth. Ooh. 
And you'll want to layer this into your jar with a spoon on top of your charcoal smoothie, that way the colors don't mix. How beautiful does this smoothie look? It's ready to eat. And last but not least, we are going to be making a fully raw vegan Halloween trail mix. This is the perfect party food. In a bowl, you're first going to add in about a handful of hazelnuts, a handful of Brazil nuts, some pumpkin seeds, some dried mulberries, some crushed walnuts or even pecans if you desire them, dried blueberries, dried pineapples, dried strawberries, and for these you may need to break them apart with your hands a little bit, dried cranberries, and a handful of cashews. Mix it up just a bit so that we can get ready to add on in some cinnamon. We're gonna sprinkle this on until it completely covers the trail mix. And then after this, we're gonna add in some dates to give it just a little bit of extra sweetness. Because you know me, I love my dates. Mix this up completely and then go ahead and pour it into your serving bowl of choice. We are ready to eat. How delicious do these Halloween treats look? All right, you guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and these healthy Halloween treats. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. I'll be doing my Friday FAQ real soon, so if you have any questions, be sure to ask me in the comments because I answer them in a video for you every Friday. Also, if you've enjoyed these recipes, be sure to download my Fully Raw Vegan recipe app that has more than 120 raw vegan recipes all at your fingertips just for you, and the link is in the description below for you. All right, you guys, there is an abundance of Halloween recipes coming your way that I cannot wait to share with you. I will see you all in my next video. I'm sending you all my hugs and my love. I'm still standing better than I ever did. Looking like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah.